Hi guys, today we learn the, the an analytics dashboard in the sketch. So before doing the the screen on the sketch, let's we make a a rough sketch on the Photoshop and how the analytics suit looks uh, in the in the sketch. So let's open the Photoshop. And let's take the brush tool. I choose the brush and uh, okay, let's uh, roughly brush on the top part and select the color, a gray color, dark gray. So in the top part, let's we make some gray color. Then we would have a tab bar, which is uh, for today. Uh, so sorry, the daily, monthly, and weekly. The next is that uh, uh, in the middle of the phases in the screen, we uh, will design a graph for the how uh, everything is increasing from day to day. And the beneath that I would have the uh, day's name like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then there would be the three, uh, three statics uh, number of the daily clicks, views and the revenues. So, so I already made a sketch uh, on the Photoshop. So look that, see the top part, we have the top part, then we have the uh, daily, weekly, monthly tab bar. The, the button and then we have the graph and then we have the the text for the for every day and then we have the view click and the revenues some number will be beneath that so let's start to work on the sketch uh, for designing the analytics Launch the sketch and then select the plus icon, select the shape, uh, sorry, select the art mode, select the iPhone 7. Now let's uh, get a rectangle shape. Okay, make a full rectangle shape on the iPhone 7. Turn off the border and in the fill color, place it a a gradient it's an orange and yellow color of this gradient okay and let's make the opacity down to uh, 50 percent okay 58 percent select again the rectangle shape make a topper Turn off the border, select the fill color and place to uh, orange color. Okay. See the colors hex code. So now we have the topper. The next is that uh, select the file from there, select uh, from the template. Select the iOS UI design, click open and from there copy the status bar. Select the status bar and copy it by command plus C copy and paste it here. Place it to the topper and then we have, I can select the rectangle shape. Make a rectangle here for the tab bar. We have a three button here, daily, monthly, uh, daily, weekly, and monthly. Make it 57 height from the inspector panel, turn off the border. Again, uh, give this one the color. Select fill color, from there select a quite lighter than the, the top bar. I can select the, the tab bar. See the size is 375 is the, is the width. 
So if we divide this one by 3, it is uh, 125 only size. So we have 3 button will be here. So one button size would be that 125. Select the rectangle and drag a rectangle top of this top bar and make sure this width is 125. So So this um, this button size is 125. Turn off the border color, select the color, fill color. And make this one to orange color. Increase more saturation. Now select this both shape, hold down the shift and command key from the keyboard. Select the shadow, place some shadow. Oops, no, turn, uh, deselect the, the small shape. Select only the, only the tab bar, tab bar shape, the main one. And uh, turn off, uh, turn the shadow. Place in the Y one value one for the blur four okay select the text and click here to type the daily weekly and monthly type the daily bring the text layer top of the all the shape uh, all the layer and make it and center it hold down the alt key and make a copy of this uh, daily text Hold down the Alt key and drag to make a copy. Okay. Now double click on the uh, text and type quickly. And double click on the um, on the uh, daily and write uh, type the monthly. And make all the text size to twenty two. Center, center, center. Okay. Select again the first uh, uh, that daily shape, make a copy and see uh, where it placed. So we can uh, place a, a line shape there, a divider. Hold down the shift key from the keyboard to make a straight line. Change the color to white color and align it with the Select the line shape and make the height height to the exact same height of this uh, this shape, which is uh, 56. Press the down arrow key from the keyboard. Oops. Okay. Great. And so now we have the so select this shape, this line shape. Align it with this. Uh, uh, weekly shape Command plus one to make the full size And delete this one the weekly button uh, top of the weekly text and reduce the opacity for that uh, line shape the divider so we have this daily, weekly and monthly tab. Okay. And the next is that uh, we'll make a graph in the middle of the screen. So let's select the insert shape and the rectangle shape. Drag and draw a rectangle shape. Turn off the border and select the, uh, the rectangle shape. Put the value of the width 330 by 330 width and height and make it in center.
let's stand on the border turn of the turn of the fill color select the line make a line straight line hold down the shift key let's zoom in okay zoom in select the the line shape make and change the value to 329 make the upper key to make sure that uh, it's aligned well in the bottom side and in the top side okay perfect command plus one to see the full size of the actual size so uh, we will make it a seven copy of this uh, this line shape for the seven days select this one and make seven coffee command plus D seven time uh, six time to make a more six coffee let's separate all of this coffee One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have now this uh, seven line. Select all this uh, line shape from the layer panel. Select the first one, hold down the shift key to select all this line shape from the layer panel. And uh, go to the arrange, uh, from there select the make grid. And from there make grid in the rows, foot one, and in the column. Put in the column seven and press enter. Now see we have this seven column here, and it's uh, selected as a whole. Now select this all shape line shape together and place in the left side corner, left side of this rectangle shape. Press the left arrow key to align it. Select again all this line shape and increase the size to make it a full with this uh, to make sure that it match with that rectangle shape and in the length put 330 330 turn off the that uh, previous rectangle shape and select all this line shape command plus G to make a groove of this line shape Select again this group and reduce the opacity. So uh, we can make the Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Let's expand the group of this line shape. Select the line. Let's make a copy of this uh, one of the line shape. Make a copy. And let's uh, make to flip horizontal or the particle, but it's not working. But okay, select this, that shape and select the rotate from the toolbar. Hold down the shift key and rotate this one. Now grab this line and place it in the top bar. Let's zoom in. Turn off the rectangle shape again. And make sure it match with the other line shape use the arrow key left arrow key right arrow key to make it a perfect alignment okay fine I then select the that line shape make a coffee and we will place this one in the bottom bottom side of this of this uh, seven line shape right arrow key one time okay great we aligned the bottom side line shape as well so we will make a graph now select the bottom line uh, bottom side rectangle shape 
and let's place a guideline now one guide to the left side of this uh, the the all the line shape one in the right side and one in the in the top side one in the bottom side select the uh, select the vector from the plus icon now click in the in this point once click hold down the shift key again click here in this point again hold down the shift key click in this corner hold down the shift key again click in this point then make a bending click in this line again hold down the shift key again click in this line again click in this line make it a little bit up again a little a little up make every line a point so we can see that how uh, the thing, things are increasing and decreasing day by day in this graph now turn on the fill color turn off the powder select the fill color fill it with a gradient select the gradient click this corner and make it to this cyan color Side color is selected and now select the other corner other side and make the opacity to zero see in the a value make it to zero and select this handler bend it a little bit Select again that corner and make the opacity down from the A value. Okay, great. And uh, we'll change, uh, we'll do it later more. Again, select the vector and click in this corner. We'll make a line, a single line. Click in this corner. Click here, click here, and click here. Click in this corner. Uh, even it is not perfect now, we can move it, change it, and bend it later on. No problem. Click the finish editing in the inspector panel. Now again, uh, make this thickness to six pixel. No, let's uh, make it to five. Okay. Change the fill color of this border to bright cyan color. okay okay great so now we have to change this uh, the corner is uh, we have to make some round corner double click here so the edit button will be selected from the toolbar now see this corner is selected and make the radius corner from the inspector panel 4 and double click again this corner it will be selected see this uh, small circle black circle I can select the another one and change the corner value to 4. Okay, select again uh, the this corner and and change the radius corner to 4. So we would have a quite uh, uh, round a radius uh, corner. Let's turn off the ruler. Let's see how it looks. We have to change the color again. Select the fill color, gradient and move this handler. Okay, move it to a little bit inside. Okay, fine.
Now select the oval shape. Make a very small perfect round shape. Hold down the shift key to make a perfect uh, round shape. Select the color and select the fill color to white color and place it in this uh, in the bottom bottom side of this uh, line shape. It's quite big. Let's make it smaller. Make it to the 15 by 15. Zoom in. Place it to here. Okay. Press command plus one to see the actual size. Zoom in again. Make it 13 by 13. Align it well by the up arrow key, down arrow key or right arrow key. Select the shadow. Make this shadow to white color so we would have a some uh, uh, out, outer glow. Spread a little bit from the shadow so that it would look like some, uh, some light glow is uh, around. Make a copy. Hold down the alt key and drag to make a copy of this one and place and copy it and paste it to all this corner this uh, small white round shape Select again uh, to make the alignment and make it perfect. All this uh, small white round shape. Command plus one to see how it looks. It's look great and uh, let's make some text here for the base. Click here and type here. SAT for Saturday. Command plus enter to accept this text. Select this Saturday. See the typeface Helvetica regular and make the color for a dark gray color. Size is 22 this text. Now make a hold down the alt key and make a copy and place it all this line, seven lines, seven days. Copy and paste it and then rename it as a day wise Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, so we have all the days and make sure uh, you align all this uh, all this text, all this uh, days name with that line. Press the left arrow key or right arrow key to align it with this line. Now select all this day's text from the rear panel, select all this. Let's see, uh, place a guideline, let's see that all these uh, days are aligned or not, yeah it's aligned. Turn off the ruler now. Let's select all these uh, days name. 
and select the color again make it more lighter gray color select that groove for the line shape select all these line shapes change the color to white color and select the group we we reduce the opacity from the group so reduce it more to 45 huh? okay the next is the uh, the next is we will type here some statics for the view clicks and the revenues select the insert text click here and type here five six seven eight command plus enter helvetica regular size is 28 color is white color hold down the alt key and make a copy of this one make it in the center again make a copy of this this text by holding the alt key from the keyboard and drag so now we have these three text three different numbers So we have now the numbers. Now let's select the text and click again and type here views B R E W S. Change the size to 18. Change the color to gray color. Now place it bottom of this number. align it make a copy again this views and double click here type clicks again make a copy and uh, oops command plus Z again make a copy Co all hold down the alt key and drag to make a copy rename it to revenues Now can move it a little bit to place it under this number. Now double click that number and place a dollar sign. Double click here and change the number. 2378 command plus enter. So we have the views, clicks and the revenues. Now uh, we will show that uh, which one is increasing and decreasing so select so oops no 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 select the triangle shape make a small triangle shape turn off the border select the fill color make it to the green color if something is increasing we'll place to the dark green color and if decreasing it will be a red color so let's uh, align again this one right, right arrow key up arrow key select again let's reduce the size of this triangle shape to 15 pixel width select again make the height to 1 3 Press the right arrow key and down arrow key. Select again to make it a copy and place it here beside the clicks. Again make a copy and place it beside the revenues. Press the right arrow key. Okay, select the first one, uh, so second one. Select the second one from the clicks and flip, flip it upside down. Change the color to red color. Let's we align it well at uh, this text. Select the five, select the views, 
numbers and the triangle shape move it to left side again select these clicks 2378 and the triangle shape select the revenues move it to left side so it's quite aligned you know command plus one to see how it looks let's change the background color let's make more saturated background select this background rectangle shape command plus one let's uh, place a menu button there and a text for analytics go to the iconfinder.com from the type menu select the free one and get this one the menu icon So copy it and paste it on the change the color to the white white color. Copy it and paste it on our canvas. Command plus V. Resize this one, make it smaller. Type the analytics in the top bar. Command plus enter. Select the option, make it to none. Double click here. Type again analytics. Make it in the center. Okay. Select the top bar, select the shadow, place a small shadow for the top bar. Select the color, make more opacity. Sorry, there is more opacity. And uh, okay, that's fine. Make blur to 4. So we have the analytics for the for the mobile app design. So let's select the background rectangle shape again. Select this one and make a copy. Command plus D. So we have a copy of this rectangle background. Now select the fill color and select the radial gradient. Select this one corner, make uh, opacity to zero, and another side is white color. Again, reduce that one opacity as well. Make a very small white glow, place it in the middle, make a very subtle, subtle glow of the white glow. Let's decrease the opacity again from the whole layer to 80. Command plus one to see how it looks. Zoom in, zoom out. So that's it for the 
analytics screen for the sketch uh, for the mobile app design in sketch so if you like this lecture please like comment and share if you don't understand anything make a comment below it and if you like this video please subscribe like and share it to get more awesome videos for the next time thank you for watching this lecture